the entire gaming industry is about to crash due to greed like the video let's go for two likes on the video and the stuff that i gotta show you tonight guys this is gonna change your reality you're certainly gonna be looking like this after the fact like this video share this video roll it proof for this one and this is the main thing i want to cover in this video uh -oh. so check this out I was on Twitter looking at some news and gaming news and whatnot, and of course, Bad this pops up. And this is the, the dumbest thing I, I think I've ever seen. This isn't just Call of Duty. This is an industry-wide problem. And if I don't bring attention to it, good God. What? Going to Twitter was a big mistake, homie. Guys, we have to speak up. I'm sorry, <laughs> we have to speak up about this. Just, okay, and there's like the 3,400 Call of Duty points uh, bullcrap going around. And apparently, Sickers are saying that they have added a skin that's like $50. Oh, shit. We're going to talk about it as well in a minute. And uh, all I'm saying here is this, guys. If GTA 6, if GTA 6 turns out to be bad... I'm gonna settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd of that year, okay? Look at this, and then tell me when I'm telling lies. Shinobi the says, the WB release. sees its future game strategy to involve more live service, mobile, and free-to-play games. Rather than just launching a one-and-done console game, how do we develop a game around, for example, a Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter that is a live service where people can Bruh. live and work and build and play in that world in an ongoing basis? Said WB Game CEO JB Perrette. And you, you fire that CEO right now, bro. Fire that CEO right now. Like. So these sickers got learned nothing. And yeah, I've read like a lot of comments and sickers are, <laughs> sickers are saying that apparently Suicide Squad failed they know it failed, but they want to make more games like that! They want to make more games like that! Hogwarts Legacy, one of the best game out there, I would say. The only weak point, and I said it before, I'll say it again. The only weak point of Hogwarts Legacy was its story. And we know Hogwarts Legacy 2 is in development as well. I'm worried, guys. I'm worried, man. They're probably gonna change the they're probably gonna change the main character gender this time to please the LG TV crowd, though. You can read the entire article and I'll, I'll link that uh, in the pinned comment. So guys, this is the takeaway for making the best-selling game of 2023. From what I understand about Hogwarts Legacy, I unfortunately did not play it, but from what I understand, it's a single-player game, and it's very good. And yeah, weird yeah, cancel culture is. controversy aside, um, everyone that played it really liked it. From, yeah. from what I heard, it was a great game. It, it was actually very, very good. The only thing was uh, it had a weak plot, though. It had a weak storyline. Other than that, amazing. If next time they, they improve on the story, and obviously with times improve the graphics, and, you know, we have a lot more to do. I, I'm pretty sure, like, they already made the entire map, so they would just have to rework a little bit of the kinks and upgrade the engine, the graphics, but they got, like, the, the foundation there. And if they improve the story, they add Quidditch, they add a lot more stuff, dog, they got another banger at their hands. Like the video if you agree. And this is the takeaway. I mean, it, it broke. It was the best-selling game. It, it broke uh, the the streak of Call of Duty or a Rockstar Games yeah, yeah, game yeah, yeah. leading the top position here last year. It sold. Uh, you cannot say Rockstar because they didn't came out with their game. But I get it. Like you're comparing with GTA 5 and uh, RDR 2. So many but... copies. I mean, they're, they're making money hand over fist just from making a good game and selling it, which is what gaming should fucking be. You know, Absolutely. that's it. But this is the takeaway. And let's check out some of the comments to this like realization uh -oh, from this uh -oh. WB Games CEO. Just this tone deaf idiot. He probably saw, he probably saw the fact that Call of Duty is making hand over fist profits yeah. from like manipulating their player Man. base and pushing out complete go- Okay, like if you're a CEO of the company, first of all, I gotta tell you, uh, don't, buy, uh, don't buy the Blame Truth uh, starter pack, okay? And certainly do not design your skins around friendly UBI. That's not an indicator of your game being successful. Friendly UAVs Online is like a thing of the past. I get it, Activision love their BBC bundles, but like, come on now, dog. And you guys, like, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say it this early because, but, but I'm hearing, and Sigas are saying, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but, because I did not investigate it by myself, but Sigas are saying that there's apparently a $50 skin in Call of Duty right now. Oh shit. oh shit! And previously they had a $3,400 Call of Duty point skin. Now to understand the gravity, okay, of the situation, 3,400 Call of Duty points equals 34 US dollars. You're following me here, okay? Check this out, 3,400 Call of Duty, 34 US dollars, but in order to get the skin, you need to spend $40 because you cannot directly purchase a skin. You need to have Call of Duty points in your wallet, so you need you gotta spend forty dollars to get four thousand Call of Duty points bundle. You spend thirty four hundred. You got the skin, and these seconds in return would give you one thousand 
Call of Duty points back. As a token of appreciation, whatever. I mean, I'll say this, it's like an IQ test, bro. Like, they are doing this to make you feel good about yourself that, hey, man, like, you spent $40, uh, here you go, man, spend $34 on the skin here, you get a thousand back, you get $10 back, but in all reality, you're getting that back in, like, Call of Duty points, so they know you are gonna be purchasing <laughs> again. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna give you actual dollars, man, so it's it's an IQ test. How many of you guys actually bought that skin, though? I'm just saying! I'm just saying, I'm, I'm pretty sure very few, uh, maybe none, because, uh, you know, you guys are definitely giga chads out there, so. Garbage. I don't doubt it. Like, I, I don't know, man. Suicide Squad failed because they tried garbage like this. Like, what they're saying is that they want to risk failing to make money more than they just want to make good money. I mean, look at these Twitter replies yeah. to this. Oh, no. It's hard to believe this is the takeaway from the Hogwarts legacy success. My, My God. God. Yeah, Everything yeah, is yeah. driven by the profit motive. Come on, man. They made hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in profit from Hogwarts legacy it was the best-selling game of 2023 and they yeah. say this it is absolutely insane that they they got so much love and praise for hogwarts legacy because it was a good game they got the blueprint right now and these things and twats are still doing the same crap and guys what's coming next this one is gonna blow your mind but real quick i want to say this guys i have a second channel though ow I have a second channel, this is where I upload UFOs and conspiracies content every single day. And recently Pentagon has revealed some stuff about the UFOs, definitely check that out, link in the comments. I also have a Twitter, so if you got Twitter, I would love to have you on Twitter as well guys. Uh, let me show you some kishish, link in the pinned comment. Now let's get back to it. You know, if this came from like, I don't know, a small group of indie developers, maybe I would be more okay with that. Like maybe make a power world. Indie devs made power world, which is kind of what they're describing. You know, it's like an MMO essentially. Um, but this is not it. This is clearly a, a profit driven thing. They want that Call of Duty money. Call of Duty yeah. can lose 40% of its sales year to year and still- But they will still make billions because of the- you know, because they got the, the the bundles, the BBC bundles, they got like uh, the four, $34, holy crap. I, if I'm not mistaken, guys, correct me quickly if I'm wrong, but this like BBC bundle was like, what, $20, 20 something like that? Bruh. And now these twats, <laughs> these bozos have made a $34 skin and today I'm hearing, I could be wrong guys, I'm hearing a $50 skin. $50 skin. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Make money hand over fist and have more I money just by raising the price of the game $10 or raising the price of cosmetics by $5 average. These profit raises sneak up on people and I don't know who is paying $30 to play dress up in a shitty first person shooter that's not even going to carry over to next year's game, but get some psychiatric help. You complete and utter fucking moron. It needs to be said, and I'm glad. I, 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 I don't know what it is, but like, uh, how many? Okay, be honest, guys. Like, listen, no judging. Okay, I will not judge you. Bruh. But no, I seriously won't judge you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like your money, you do you, right? And I and I feel like that a lot of people that buy skins, uh, deep down, they know they're wasting money, right? They're wasting money. They could have invested that money or went out on a date with a with a baddie or went out with friends or t took their parents out or took themselves out. Maybe went on a vacay. I know you cannot go on a vacay for $20, but if you stack those $20 up every single month, at the end of the month, you're gonna have $240 oh, shit. saved up though. That's money, that's paper. I know you still cannot go on vacay, but but understand the, the idea here, understand the philosophy, understand the feeling here, guys. I, I truly feel like that uh, you're, you're gonna learn the hard way that uh, I bought uh, my the biggest mistake I made back in the days was buying like liquid Duviniums and black ops 3 I spent 40 Canadian on it Bruh. But I learned the lesson though because quickly after I found out bro like I'm not getting no dopamine by doing that You know like I'm not like feeling like on top of the world. I'm not like strong independent I'm not like like this though. It's like a, it was a waste of money waste of um, I could have just grinded the game and I would have felt more rewarded and after all I love Black Ops 3 Zombies I was playing it right pretty regularly so why not play the game and earn Liquid Dominiums naturally and organically so that was a lot more rewarding and that was a learning lesson I feel like that if you 
haven't learned that lesson yet, you probably haven't spent that much and that's good. Or maybe you have learned your lesson by watching YouTube videos. Or it, it, I, I feel like that if you spend money, you're going to eventually learn the lesson. You're going to find out that it was a waste of money. And eventually you're going to grow out of that phase. But I, I, but other people that just buy like dead ass like every time... I, I think they're just rich. Maybe I need to get my bread up. Maybe that's what it is, guys. Maybe maybe I'm not rich enough. Maybe that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, the issue right now. I have maybe a I gotta, pop and spit filter pop on my bread. microphone right now because I am getting straight up into this thing's grill. Hey, you yo, know what? what? Guys. Doc, come on, bro. Like, I'm wearing headphones. So I don't want to catch herpes, though. Mm. This is going to be an industry-wide... I mean, it kind of already is, but it's just going already to get worse. So, have you guys heard of Skull and Bones? That, that game's coming out, right? I saw some gameplay of it on Twitch, and it looks like trash. It looks <laughs> awful. And this game's been talked up. This game's been talked up being a quadruple A game, whatever the hell that means. Look at this article. Skull and Bones looks quadruple my balls, bro. It's like it's doing worse than Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. This is just from an article. I mean, Ubisoft, you're going to go Bruh. bankrupt if you keep Bruh. spending all this money on trash to try to siphon more money out of the public. You could hire a few indie devs to, and get them to, like, I don't know, mess around with Assassin's Creed Black Flag and come up with something better than what I personally saw with Skull... Ass make Assassin's Creed Black Flag 2, rather, you know? And Bones. And uh, I'm they not trying to trash every single new game that comes out. I'm really, really not. But, guys... The quadruple A comment from Ubisoft CEO was probably the dumbest thing he could have ever said in reference to Skull and Bones. It shows that he has never played the game, completely lacks any sort of self-awareness, has no clue what is going on in the gaming industry, has never played a game developed by an indie studio with one to five developers that offer more content in an early access game and development than UB in a quadruple A game. I don't yeah, want to trash. Let me go back to this. Facts. I don't want to trash every new game. Helldivers 2 is apparently fantastic. I've yeah. enjoyed Power World, despite it being uh, more of an indie title. It's definitely an indie title. I really like Lethal Company. Dog, you know, indie games are definitely killing it. And it's just that I'm not the target audience, so I'm not into Helldivers. But, like, uh, I came pretty close on buying it, actually. Because uh, I, I was watching Mr. T-Lexify, and he just said that, bruh, like, you know, I love zombies. And I love zombies as well. Call of Duty zombies, right? I'm talking about, like, Black Ops 3 zombies. Not, like, the New Age zombies crap without any zombies man without any zombies screw that's not zombies that i grew up with right so he was saying that bro instead of like thinking about like uh the the, the robots or the enemies as whatever just think of it as like zombies it's like open world kind of ish right you're running around you're looting you're killing so it's like you know, he, he, he had like a different, almost like similar point, but different, kind of. And this is the way I viewed it. And I was like, holy crap, like, okay. And all of a sudden, I started liking it. And Helldivers is a very, very successful uh, lethal company. Paul Worlds, indie games, right? Helldivers is like double A, but still, though, you know what I mean? And for $40, I'm hearing, bro, like, that's a steal. That's, that's like good price for a game like holy crap you know so they, they do have my respect though i'll say that and we certainly need more games we certainly need more games like that and guys click on this video on the screen this is the actman video and the actman completely lost it we got a massive drama with the actman asman gold as well heel versus babyface and sweet baby ink though you might have heard the story on the left though this is my ufo video the second on the second channel the conspiracy video check it out and i'll see you right there